All right, so we're going to talk about utilizing MIDI to do some cool, fun stuff in Pro Tools. Instead of showing you just the standard run-of-the-mill uh, virtual instrument stuff, I'm actually going to show you how I like to use it as I create and make music. I like to start off sometimes with just the voice and kind of build upon the voice and kind of what the voice is doing because I'm trying to set the tone with the mood. Um, but what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to show you how I use it to set up harmonizers, to set up auto-tune, and to set up a vocoder to be able to do all these things together at once. Um, so we're going to look at, at a couple of those options. Additionally, um, I'm actually going to be vocalizing through um, live through this uh, TC Electronics Voice Tone G Harmony. Technically, this is set up as a, a guitar harmonizer, so like whatever chord you play on your guitar, it's going to harmonize in that key. Uh, along with that chord, but I have it set up just in a standard function where you can just select whatever key it's in uh, because you know I'm not using it that way at the moment, and it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. So you'll kind of see how we utilize this. So let's jump into Pro Tools and take a look. First of all, I'm gonna have to be like Johnny on the spot with making sure that I switch back and forth between the right patches. I'm gonna try to keep up with it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my vocals in Pro Tools which is on this mic. Okay, that's great. And then we just set up our input output stage. So let's check this out. I'm gonna just gonna go in. No click at the moment. Just kinda just have fun with it. Actually, hold on, I might want to do light click because I'm going to use the grid. Okay, here we go. Just here, I feel like I'm hearing a lot of bleeding. That's fine. Ooh. So, so far, something real simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go through, I'm going to edit this, and what I'm going to actually set this up so that my auto-tune will follow my MIDI, and I'll have like a guide track that goes along with what I'm singing. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to, you know, mute the harmonies. I'm going to focus on the main vocal. I'm going to open this back up so that I can hear it and let you guys hear what's going on with it. So here we go. Ooh. Okay, cool. I'm going to then open up a guide MIDI track and I might actually have to do, let's see how this goes. I forget how this was set before. Oh, actually what I'm going to need to do with it. Oh, okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to actually do with this is I'm going to open this up as a MIDI, as just the run of the middle, middle uh, MIDI virtual instrument. Okay, so I'm going to set up my piano for it. And right at the moment, I'm literally just going to go ahead and track right alongside my vocal. Try to stick with the timing. Let's see. Let's open up the click. Uh, actually, the click just needs to be louder. So I can hang with it. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna record right alongside there. Ooh. Sorry, already messed it up. Let's undo that. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is, so I have my um, I have my auto tune set up. This is just a basic waves uh, auto tune. Uh, I think this is the waves tune plugin. What I'm going to do with it is I'm actually going to tell it um, I want to actually follow uh, the MIDI reference. 
And if you look up here, it says MIDI node waves tune real time one. That's going to be important key information because I'm going to link that to my MIDI engine. And then down here where it says MIDI input, I'm going to tell it target pitch based upon the MIDI. That's where I activate the MIDI input there. Then I have to go over to my MIDI path and on my output, there's a little bit of a trick that, that's inside of Pro Tools where we can set it up to output to two different outputs at one time by holding control. And basically I'm going to output to the piano guide, plus I'm also outputting to the Vox 35 that waves real time one, channel one. So what that's actually going to do is, and if I mute my audio, it's gonna just mute the plug in the piano. It's going to target that vocal and tune it according to what's here in the MIDI, which means I can adjust and I may need to adjust some of the stuff that's going on here to fix that or to, to make it fly, but let's listen to it. Now, one of the cool things about this that I, that I really do enjoy is the fact that um, if it becomes too tight, I like to move around or slide a lot. And because of that, some of the notes get too tight. So I can't actually hold them the whole value. I have to just let them off just a little early. So watch. Notice that launch down didn't go on time. And that last note didn't land on time. So let's... So I notice a lot of times it just means a shortening of the tail end. The beauty of using it to MIDI is I can actually tell it to be really harsh. I can literally just say, all right, let's go and like fully tune. I can back it off. Fine. And now what's great about this is I'm going to repump this back through my harmonizing engine now that it's tuned. So I'm going to go ahead and um, set this up. Uh, let's get new playlists on these two. Sorry, I already have a bunch of stuff going on in this. And let's go ahead and record enable. For now, I'm just gonna, let's, in, oops, so let's input monitor these guys so we can hear them from that section. <laughs> and go and track them. Fine. <laughs> And again, the beauty of being able to do it this way is I can actually jump in and let me, um, let's just say this is Fox FX. I can jump in on the pedal and make adjustments to that too. So like if I want to switch the harmonizing style. Fine. Ooh. All right, that one didn't work. Let's Fine. go to this one. Ooh. That's cool because that just had a bass note in it. If you go listen to that one, somewhere, I think it, must, it might have just been this guy, I'm assuming. Cool, okay, so we got the harmonizer going, auto-tune's good, the harmonizer's good. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take in my vocoder. So here's one of the things I needed. In order to, to, do, to use a vocoder, we, need the, we actually need to actually play MIDI while something in audio is pumping through. So we're actually gonna pump a mic through this um, Korg Micro Korg, and then we're gonna have the MIDI follow in so we can get this um, vocoder tone. This is the time to move your feet. This is the time to move your feet. 
Okay, real robotic. And all we have to do with the MIDI now is if we go in and do the same thing with the MIDI, what we're gonna do with the MIDI, we can use the same trigger if we want to. We just have to follow time. that roll to the vocoder position. So now that we have that set up, we can drop the vocoder engine in and we're gonna, now that we have a couple things we could do, I'm gonna try out a couple different sounds and I'm gonna patch them in. So let's let's go listen to them. This is the time to move your feet. This is the time to move your feet. Here's our other version. So really cool stuff we can do when we go in and add that vocoder. Um, so I have, there's a lot of really cool stuff that I like to do when, when I'm setting that up. So it means that like I can go in and drop in some harmonies, tune them up, try some different things, and then slap things like the vocoder or the MIDI there. The really cool part about that is, is what's actually happening with that is we're actually routing or playing this device with the MIDI from this initial controller. So if we're like, hey, we love that, but we want to, um, we actually want to have just a, a straight up uh, synth underneath. If we go find one. Okay, let's just roll that. So then literally all we can all we have to do is go blend, you know, blend those two sounds. And that's it. Pretty cool. I love I love it. I love the way that, you know, I'm a huge fan of being able to use things like this. I think like if you guys have MIDI stuff at home, if you have anything in MIDI, just break it out, start using it. It's so much fun. Uh, you won't be sorry, <laughs> you know, try out some MIDI, uh, MIDI's great. So we'll talk to you soon.